Wait, there is one thing in the story that checks out. What's that? There does appear to be a state in the union named Nevada. Deliberately misleading information is all around us, across any media we can think of. And it has major consequences. You've heard the term fake news getting thrown around, but it's not a new thing. And even though we may think we're too smart to be fooled by it, it's not so simple. There are many subtle levels. Deceptive stories appear in different forms. One type is known as serious fabrications, which use exaggeration or scandal mongering, like tabloids. Another is large-scale hoaxes, which are completely false, but get shared on social media. Is butter a carb? Yes. Like fake websites. These use distorted or dubious information to fuel public outrage for clicks. That wasn't very sporting. There's also news satire, which is meant to be thought-provoking humor, but sometimes is mistaken for real news. Don't worry, you can build the skills to sort it all out. Here are some ways to assess news sources. Is the headline exaggerating the story to get you to click on it? Read the whole thing before sharing or using to make sure it's what you think it is. How reliable of a resource is it? Always read a variety of resources to verify the information. Check if other news stories are reporting the information. Fake news is an extreme example of media that takes advantage of our biases. Do your own beliefs make you want to trust or doubt the source? Look for perspectives other than your own, even if you don't agree with them, to learn other viewpoints and arguments. You can contact a librarian or use websites to try and fact check or show the whole story. In conclusion, we hope these tips help you to find reliable news sources to make informed decisions. Learn about the library's resources and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. <laughs>